Hello, my name is Grace. Today I learned to the story Sleeping Beauty. There's chapters until chapter six. Good news. Chapter one. Good news. Many years ago, a king and queen lived in a magical castle. They had everything they could want except. A baby. Year after year, the queen stitched a sweat tiny clothes, and the king made the toy in the palace workshop. But still, there was no baby. Then one day. While the queen sat kindling by the lake, a bright green frog hopped, skipped, and jumped right onto her lap. They're making clothes and toys for the baby, right? Don't be sad, your majesty, said the frog. You are going to have a baby this year. What? Robert. And with that, he bowled and lifted back into the lake. Turn to the frog's word. The queen gave birth to a lovely baby girl. I shall curl her rose, said the D. K. D. Lurk happily. The king was so pleased. He planned to a, a feast to celebrate. <clears throat> I shall invite every princess, prince and princess in the land. He decided to ask the ask seven fairies to be rose very good mothers. Godmother. Godmother. The king sent the invitation by Bluebird Post and everyone agreed to come. Servants scrubbed and cleaned it until the castle gleamed. There has never been a party like this. Chapter 2 Seven Wishes One day of a feast, Crude came to cheer and watch the guests arrive. The men wore cloths of the silk velvet, and the women shimmered and slinkers.
seven fair fairies flew in in sought a castle window, leaving a glittering tail behind them. The good mother, godmother, cried the king, holding out his hand to greet them. Let's be, let's the feast begin. Announced the queen and Mary. Music followed the room. Light the room. The tables were pillared high with scrum scrumptious food and everyone ate the golden plate. When no one could manage another bite of the fairy gathered before the king and queen. We have some wishes for Princess Rose, said Swan Drop, the first fairy with a curse. She floated her fairy fingers. Rose will be the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. The honest girl waved her wand, and she will be clever enough to beat the king at chess. They are wishing for the princess. The street fairy will roll floated over. She will have grace in all she does. And she will dance all to perfect. Yet, bubble, blossom, and buttercup wish that Rose would play even instrument like an angel and sing like a nightingale. Everyone wondered that Dressman. The seven and wasted fairy would wish for. Chapter three: The Invited Guest. As James's hover over the table. A blast of ice air swept through the great hall. When the chilling voice rang out on of nowhere, haven't you forgotten someone? Suddenly, the mean fairy nightingale appeared. I'm not nightingale. Night. Shed appeared in a whirlwind of flow green smoke. How dare you! 
not inviting me, she roared. We, we didn't mean you. Night shed the king stammered. We just forgot you. Finished the queen meekly. Forgot me? Night shed screamed. And for me, the famous in the fire palace went out. Will you won't forget this? She flicked her clothes and marched it up to a cardinal. No, my pretty. Now my pretty, she purred, lifting a golden curl with a bored finger. What shall I wish for you? She's very bad for it. Everyone in the palace held their breath. Shelan tears ran down the queen's face. Night shed leaned into the cardinal and snarled on your 16th birthday. You will pick your finger on a spinning wheel and die. No, no, cried the queen, but night shed cackled gleeful and disappeared with a defining band. I still have my wish, said Jamie softly. I can't undo what witched spell, but I can't turn to change it. You will pick your finger, little Rose James began, but you won't die. You and everyone easily in this castle will fall into a deep sleep. Only a kiss from you, turn love, will break the spell. Burn evening spinning wheel in the land at once. Blow the king. Rose must never even, never ever see one. That nightingale, the flames of a um, massive bonfire, would be seen for miles, miles. They lifted their the dark sky like sparing tangus. Chapter four A Spell Birthday A Special Birthday The years passed and Rose grew into a delightful girl. Even she met a bird her she danced, sang and played music as wonderfully as the fairy had wished. Ha ha just made she was clever and played to win.
Wolf. Rose loved playing hide and seek in the castle gardens, and certainly she liked to sketch the prints of her dreams. Time went happily, and by and Rose's sixteenth birthday, draw near the castle began to buzz with excitement. The king had the queen were playing a huge ball. Rose was so exciting, she would hardly keep still. Chapter Five: The Long Sleep. The night of the bell finally arrived. Handsome prince and pretty princess fall into the great hall. The king and queen smile proudly as they watch it rose from their throne. She will land and will land in a bustling ball ground, and even Prince fell into in love with her. When the feasting was near over, Rose Palace for. Palette for a game, hide and seek. She shouted and dashed off into the castle. She raced up twisting stairs, down a long narrow corner, sought a tiny door. I found and found herself at the. Staircase of a tower she had never seen before. Soft singing, foot down the turreted stairs in a Times rose fold and the music. At the top of the stairs, she found a heavy inner door. Inside, an old woman sat, hunched over a spinning wheel. Come and see, my pretty," she said. Be. Conning rose with a bone feet finger. I am spinning, my dear," corrected an old woman. It's amazing," said Rose, touching the scaling street. "May I try?" "Of course," said the old woman, taking her hand. At once, Rose bounded out of a trance. "Ooh!" he she cried. "Ow!" Oh, she cried, as a cricket. Her finger, Rose fell to the floor. The old woman cackled, then disappeared in a whirlwind of floor-gray smoke.
in the same instead everyone in the castle fell asleep the king looked of over his pudding and a corner gesture showed man need lap leap. All the crooks stopped at the palace will sail lying and still except for the rose bushes. They spread like even covering everything in their path. They grew too quickly that soon their entire castle were covered with the thick roots and starts thrown. He's sleeping like this. <laughs> Chapter 6 A Prince Read the Loop By. For a hundred years, the princess will be. Wait, let me see. What is her age? What is her age? Then she will be over a hundred years. <laughs> Chapter six. A prince rides by for one hundred years. The castles state hide of only the top of the throne should sort the bushes passer by stopped it to stare at the forgotten castle. Prince uh, Prince from far and went heard about the spell. They came to their hundreds hundreds to try to rescue the princess now a sleeping beauty. But the throne cut their skin and the roots wrapped it around their legs like snakes. One day, one by one, they gave up. One day, a brave prince named Florin by, rode by. He had dreamed it of sleeping beauty and was that church mine to find her. He pulled out his sword with a full flesh and began to Tickle the pickle bush. As foreign fuller and sword touch a branch, something magical happened. Each sharp stone became a sweet smell, smelling rose. A part glowed before him. He followed its twisted and turned until he reached the topmost trendy and climbed it to where Sleeping Beauty lay. Wow. 
Florence heart folded like a bird when he saw her. She was the most beautiful girl she he had even ever seen. Tucking her hand and kissed her soft lips, her eyes flicked open and rose, then herself face to face with the princess prince of her dream. You're the prince. I draw I draw, she cried. He bowed he bowed. Prince following her to rescue you, he announced and scooted her up as they walked through tunnel of rose even easily the castle walk up to the king fell into his punning with spot and the coaster gesture land with a honest bump the rose and fall wizard entered the great hall. My rose, cried the queen, and her true love smiled the king. The rose and fall wizard were very the every day they left happily ever after, and the prince always lost at chest. <laughs> Finished! Today I have read the story. It was fun and bye!